we are starting gravitation this chapter is very interesting and very much connected to our daily life in our knowing there are four fundamental interactions in the universe in that gravitational is also an interaction gravitational force it can be called second is electromagnetic interaction and the third is strong interaction this you study in physics in, cl in class 12th both and strong interaction along with the weak interaction this term you will come to see more in the nuclear physics but then to at 11th 12th level we don't study that much gravitational force is one of the four fundamental interactions between the particles between the matters and so so we can understand its importance because all of our universe is due to this gravitational interaction is in the motion and due to the gravitational forces only the shape of our earth the shape of the orbit of the sun is spherical or elliptical so gravitational force is very much important come let us see newton's law of gravitation newton's law of gravitation this tells that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle that means if we have a number of particles then all the particles attracts one another and this force of attraction is proportional to the product of their masses if we talk about any two m1 and m2 are their masses suppose the masses of the particle are m1 m2 for now we are not considering the other masses because their existence doesn't causes any effect on the interaction of m1 and m2 f is proportional to m1 m2 also inversely proportional to r square if there is a term of 1 upon r square so these forces follow the inverse square law that means the forces this forces follow inverse square law so this we must remember that gravitational force follows inverse square law it would be good then we must write it also force of gravitation follows inverse square law many laws are there which follow inverse square law many forces are there and m1 m2 are the masses of the particle r obviously is the distance between m1 and m2 the distance between the particles m1 and m2 it is r here we take the value of proportionality constant capital g m1 m2 upon r square here i should take it minus because it is negative only and as we talk about the magnitude it is g m1 m2 upon r square only why we take it as negative negative sign why it is taken i will write negative sign because of it is attractive force force of gravitation is an attractive force it is always an attractive force so minus sign must be included here if you talk only about the magnitude then negative sign is not needed here but if you write it in the vector form we have written this in the scalar form let us see what we will be getting while writing it in the vector form in vector form we write force between the two particles suppose two particles m1 and m2 here we take from m1 to m2 the vector r vector from m1 to m2 we take the vector r vector and we will write f21 that is force on 2 due to 1 that means the force on the m2 due to the m1 will be in the vector form we will be writing g m1 m2 upon upon r square that means the magnitude of the vector r we will take it here as r r means magnitude of the vector r and here we have to also write r cap along with the negative sign negative means the force on m2 will be in the opposite direction of the r vector r cap means it is a unit vector in the direction of r so r caps negative means a vector from m2 to m1 in direction that is a unit vector and g m1 m2 upon r square became its magnitude so the magnitude of the vector became g m1 m2 upon r square the magnitude of the force became g m1 m2 upon r square and here we must remember this that this f 
will be negative of f12 vector because the force acting on 2 due to 1 will be the negative of force acting on 1 due to 2 because m1 is attracting m2 towards it if you see this direction then this will be force on 2 due to 1 and if you see this direction then this will be force on 1 due to 2 particle number 2 so in this way we can write it in the vector form and you see here if we have taken the reference as this then we must use negative sign here negative sign means attractive force because this sign is useful in the difficult numericals for the energy calculation so we must remember this though it is not required to write every time you can solve a number of problems from gm1 m2 upon r square but few problems are there where negative sign is used if you forget it there then there can be a huge problem so let us see forward what does gravity means gravity means that force due to which earth attracts every object in the universe towards itself here we have taken two particles m1 and m2 and if from here our one particle is earth and suppose the second particle is m so the force on that particle due to earth the force of attraction will be called as the gravity that means force of attraction due to earth on a particle is called as gravity so let us see now we have written the formula for the newton's law of gravitation that was minus g m1 m2 upon r square we want to know what is universal gravitational constant capital g is the universal gravitational constant and its value is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square divided by kg square this is the universal gravitational constant wherever you go in the universe you will be getting the same value of this at every point some people do write it as a negative value because we have written minus here we are just interested in the numerical value for now 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square upon kg square this value you must remember sometimes it is useful in calculations and this and this value was obtained from the cavities experiment we can see a small description of cavities experiment what happens in the cavities experiment what happens in cavities experiment two small lead spheres are kept in this way close to them in the opposite size sides two big lead spheres are kept this string is hung there is a strong rod this is a full horizontal system this all four this all four masses particles are in a horizontal plane and the plane is hung in this way due to attraction there is a little bit of the rotation and we can measure that angle of rotation here suppose this angle is theta and due to this theta torque is produced in this string the torque in the string is taken as k theta k is the torsional constant and and the torque which is produced here due to gravitational pull that is g mass of this object mass of this object is m so so this is gmm the force so force is upon r square this distance from here to here is r this distance is r basically and this distance is l so force into length this becomes parallel forces both the forces are equal and the distance between them is l so the moment of force becomes gmm upon r square into l k theta it will be equal to this from here we can measure the value of theta along with measuring the value of theta we can also find the value of g that is capital g so the value of capital g is found using cavitish experiment cavitish experiment is this and and we will see forward with the value of capital g and using the value of small g we can find out the mass of earth and we will see it once again cavitish was the first man who found the value of capital g although that value is somewhat refined we have got a new value for that the current value is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 this is today's accepted value and the value found by the cavitish was having a little difference and capital m mass the capital m mass the mass of earth which we will be using forward can be found out using this experiment so let us see so here we are seeing acceleration due to gravity earth to its respect we have a mass m suppose small m mass of earth is taken as capital m force on this object due to earth we take it as capital f that is equal to g 
कैपिटल एम स्मॉल एम अपॉन